everybody. So we were talking about bringing content in from your Google Drive in different ways or your OneDrive, so your cloud account, if you will. Uh, but ways to bring things in to your whiteboard, not necessarily having to use the QR code, um, you know, places where you may be signed in consistently through the day. Follow on question is, okay, fantastic. I can pull stuff in. How do I send it back to my drive if I'm not signing in with my QR code? So great thing, when you sign in to your OneDrive or your Google Drive over here with the QR code, I'll say very simple, easy to access. If you haven't done it, check it out. It's a fabulous feature. Uh, but you'll notice that when you get signed in, you get this lovely icon. Uh, it looks like this. It's going to be down on your toolbar. When you want to send things back to your drive, so we're not pulling in, but we actually want to export back to our drives using that QR code for export down in our toolbar. How do we get it back if we have not signed in with the QR code? For example, um, this is the whiteboard that I've been working with um, over the last couple of videos here. Maybe I want to just send these three pages out to my students. It's a review. It's vocab words. It's examples. Maybe I'm going to send this back to my drive to send it to parents saying, hey, here's the examples that we used in class. So if your child has a question, this is how you can help them. Because uh, sometimes we're all learning things together. So very exciting times. Uh, but I want to go ahead and I want to send this as a PDF file. It would be a three page PDF, but it would just be one file. And when I hit export, of course, the yeah, I got options. Now, if you were to have scanned in with the QR code over on the right side of the panel, your drive would be listed here. But remember, you may be signed in to your drive in other places. So we could share to our drive still from the whiteboard. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. I wanna share to my drive right there. I have the option I could send this into the file commander. Uh, so I could pop in there or I could send it directly to my drive because that's also where I'm signed in. But let's go into the file commander first because that one's usually a couple of clicks. So I go into the file commander, then I have to choose my drive and I'm going to go ahead and pop in there. And if I wanted to send it to a specific class folder, I could choose that or I could just send it to my drive in general. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, Life is fantastic. And it's going to go ahead and send it right over. If I want to share this to my drive, because maybe I'm not signed in with the file commander as well, just through the app. Super simple. Why not? Uh, same process, I can go ahead, send to my drive, uh, but you can see just a little bit different in terms of I can choose different options in here. And as I go into my drive, just looks a little bit different. So if I want to, you know, go into different uh, options here, I'll go to whiteboard pictures or whatever, maybe I can send it to a different destination. Uh, but same thing, my folders, my class folders, whatever it may be, everything is there. Choose where I want it, hit select. And I'm going to go ahead and save. So again, it is going to be your date and timestamp. Shows me my account. I've chosen where to send it. Hit save. And there it goes right into your drive. So three ways to pull content, of course, from the QR code scanning ability or from the three dots image PDF you can pull from your drive if you download that or the file commander and same way to send it out. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, keep those questions coming. We want to create content that's helpful for you. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care.